So now I'm going to try to recreate this cover that I made using the cover tool before, but I wasn't able to save it properly. And um, we're going to do a lot of the same things that we have done, but I'll show you a few new things that I haven't shown you yet. And I'm not sure I can get it exactly the same because I don't think I have all the same files that I was using before, um, but we can get pretty close. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to import a picture. And I'm just going to use this one as a background, which is a little bit small, but it doesn't, it's not going to matter. Even though I zoom in quite a ways, you're not going to lose the quality enough that it's noticeable. And then I'm going to add my, my guy. And I had used an original photo, which was much bigger. It's over two megabytes and it's about 3000 pixels, which is um, because I want to watch my file size. I made a new one that's only as wide as I need it to be, which is 1800. And it's about a sixth of a size smaller. It's much smaller. So that's going to make it much easier to save. And we're trying to avoid sometimes if the file size gets too big, it has problems saving. And that's what we don't want. And so I'm going to make this big enough to fill. And this is just a guy on a beach. And I'm going to have to use several layers of this guy. Because what I want to happen is I want this light to come through and to color some of this so that this has a really shiny sunrise effect, like you see in that picture, wherever it went. And the problem with that is that if I go to lighten or screen, that's going to work for these sky areas. But it's not going to work for the character in the middle because I have to use something like multiply to make him dark. And if I use multiply, then it's too dark and I lose all these colors. So I'm going to have to use a few different layers. Um, but first, there's this hard line up here. So to get rid of that, I can just go to this image and I'm just going to fade out the top. And this is the way you would blend any two images together. If you've got something on the top and something on the bottom, you're going to get a hard line in both directions. So you've just got to select that layer and delete it from the top. And I can just use this eraser tool, the maximum size and the maximum softness. And I can add this back on. I can still see a little bit of this line here. So I didn't erase it well enough. So I'm going to go back and do it again and just make sure I get all of it. And now you can't see the line anymore. So that's actually fine for the sky and the bottom. That works pretty well. It's just we have to work on the sky. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to use Control Copy and Control Paste to make a duplicate of that file. On the Mac, you would use different keyboard um, shortcuts. So I'm going to put one behind this bridge so that I still get the sky, but I don't lose I don't lose the guy there. And then I'm going to put another one here. And instead of multiply, I'm going to try a different blending. And there's quite a few things that you can do. So with this one, which is darken, it doesn't make it dark enough. It changes the color down here a little bit of the sky, but it doesn't make it so dark that I lose a lot of that light. But it does fill in the guy. And it actually looks pretty good that he's walking on the bridge now compared to the original where he was on the beach. So it got rid of all the beach in the background. But it's not as light as I want it to be. So I'm going to duplicate it again. But this time I'll choose. You can also choose some fun ones, like if I choose difference. There's using hard light. Hard light will give you really strong contrasting colors. So the lighting is really good, except now it makes the bottom too dark. So what I have to do with this layer 
I can just delete some of this bottom from this layer only, and that'll give me my bridge back. I don't really want to go too high because then I'm losing some of these sunrise colors. And um, this one here looks good, except there's it's coloring the sky a little bit black. So I'm also going to erase a little bit just here to get rid of that a little bit. The other way that we could have done this, I could have just taken this guy and used the eraser and gone really close around him. But when you do that, you're probably going to get a little bit too much light around the top. Oops. I can always use these undo and redo tools also, so if I screw up, I can go up to undo. Oops, that's funny. It's not going to let me undo that. I have to figure out what I just did so I can reverse it. There we go. It took me back pretty far actually. So I may have to add those files again and redo what I just did. I'm going to stop the video here and I'll come back when I figure it out.